Hi, beautiful. There are so many oddly satisfying curly hair TikToks on TikTok. And we need to watch them together. These TikToks have so many likes, so many views. Clearly, I'm not the only one who's like, what the f is going on? And whoa, this is also really satisfying. Let's check them out. That was so cool. I can't even like digest what just happened. How are you using your hair to sculpt? I mean, I always say doing hair is like sculpting, but this is like next level sculpting. This is crazy. it again and I'm still like how did she cover her face with all of her hair like that is that all her hair is it like hair extensions I don't even understand that is the cutest f little like thing I've ever seen made out of hair in my life what the artistry on that is like insane like did you watch that and that has 3.5 million likes it is worth that many likes I can confirm the hype is real and the hype is hyping I also have so many questions if you're the girl in this video and you're watching this please comment down below do you wear that out is that look like a thing that you actually wear if you had a mask made out of hair and I saw you in person I would have to just like hug you like that is so fun and interesting and entertaining and just like the coolest thing ever and then she got so creative and used like the pomade color to actually put a design on i don't know what the design is it kind of looks like an alien head at the top kind of like a sort of fair thing going on honestly i'll take anything that was really really cool and very artistic and very impressive Please do not tell me you do that to your entire head to style it. Oh my god. That was a lot. <laughs> it came up with the most perfect spiral curl ever. And if you have the patience, like I say, go for it. I need to see what her hair looks like when it's styled though. Oh my god. I think that is some of the most curliest, lushiest, longest hair I've ever seen. Oh my god. And with the wind blowing, everything is just like, <sighs> easy breezy, Beyonce. Like this just made me want to like cry because like I will never achieve hair that is that beautiful, that luxurious, and that long in my lifetime. And what the f***? It's not fair. Ugh. Oh, I know where this is going. Everybody's like, brush it. That's like an intrusive thought with everybody who like watches curly hair videos. Like, can you brush it out for me? Like, can you straighten it? Like, I want to see it straightened, please. I love it too. Like, I love a transformation from something that's really curly to really straight or really straight to really curly. Either way, it's just so good. Oh my God, her curls are gorgeous. That is definitely her natural hair color, which is really impressive. And honestly, that is such a look. Whoever kept telling you to brush it was right. And that is the look you should always have. Like look at her brush it out and it just becomes even better. It went from the most beautiful hair I've ever seen to like the most beautiful hair I've ever seen, if you know what I mean. Like it just like elevated to the next level. I hope you actually start wearing your hair poofy like that because people would be like, who is that girl? I've met a few girls out in New York City who wear their hair like that with all their curls brushed out and believe me They are the ones who get all of the attention at the parties. They are the party I'm intimidated by them because they're just so gorgeous with their curls brush out So any curly hair girls out there, please brush your curls out for us, please. Everybody loves it I know you probably don't but like we do Oh 
my god. That was such a different look than what she started with. How do you have such healthy hair? How do you girls do it? She is straight in that curly hair. Bone straight. And the after look is actually quite cute. I prefer the brushed out curl moment at the beginning. I know. I know that probably sounds insane because it's a crazy look, but she looks like a lioness, if you will. What look do you guys like better? Do you like the curly kind of brushed out look or the straight and flat and like refined better? I mean, I'm kind of torn. Both are beautiful and her hair color is insane. Like that is also definitely her natural hair color. People who naturally have that ginger copper color. I'm clapping for your parents. Good job, parents. That is so fun pretty. With the yellow headband and the orange hair, everything kind of just comes together and is such a vibe at the end. Ah, impeccable. <laughs> I've actually seen this before and I have mixed thoughts about this. Like she is taking a strainer and diffusing her hair with it, which is like kind of a really inventive, interesting idea. But I'm worried about the heat from the strainer heating up really hot and like burning her hair. Curly hair is always quite dry. So adding that extra heat there is not gonna be great for your hair. And you're also using a blow dryer at the same time. But I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be any worse, any better than like any other hot tool. So I don't think it's like that serious. I don't think her hair is gonna like snap off because she's using a strainer with metal on it and heating it up. But I do get a little worried about it. But that look she ended up with is so beautiful. And actually, maybe, actually second thought, maybe the heat from the strainer is helping her curls become curlier. Cause it looks like she has pretty straight hair to begin with. And she needs all that heat to make those curls last and to make them nice and strong and defined. Maybe it was a good idea. I also love how shook she is in this video. She's like, wait a damn minute. I think it's a fine idea. You can also use a strainer that's like, I don't know, do they make, oh, those are like plastic strainers, but those would probably melt. No, they won't. Pasta is hot. That plastic is not gonna melt. So you can probably use a plastic strainer. But then again, don't listen to me on that one. I am not a professional strainer or, or I don't know what's going on in the strainer market or if any of them can be used in your hair. So it didn't come from me. Okay, just try it out yourself. Listen, I know that Con Air brush is damaging. So are a lot of tools, but it f works. My friends that use that brush, they got the straightest, silkiest blowouts ever. And they all have like curly, curly hair like this girl. Also her curls to start with are magnificent. Oh my God, they are so shiny. I can't stop staring at that color. Oh my God, it is so like glowy and glass-like. Like it is stunning. What is your hair care routine? Please tell us. I think once I fix this up with a straightener, I'm gonna really love it, but what do you guys think? I think absolutely straighten it. Like, yes, because it looks so good so far, but I need to see that finished result where it's really smooth. And also, I feel like you need more products in your hair. When your hair is curly, you end up with that super fluffy blowout at the end. It usually means your hair is like not weighed down enough from products. Heavy products can really help smooth a curly hair blowout because it like puts a lot of on the hair strand and it weighs it the fuck down. And that is what we want. You know, if you use too many light, light products or you don't put enough, you'll get this kind of like more poofy look. It all depends on your hair type and hair texture also, but that is usually the case. Hair products are your best friend. I'm trying to do it in small, thin sections just so it gets extra straight. Cause I always try to rush the process and do giant sections and it never looks good. Ah, uh, it's so satisfying watching curly hair get straight. For some reason when I said that one time, everybody got so mad at me. I'm sorry, I can't like when people straighten their hair. Wait, what? Like, damn. I can't even say that I like the straightened hair. Look how much movement I'm getting. Look at the difference between the flat iron bits and this part. Honestly, the fact that I used the brush straightener first made this a lot easier. Final strand. And here is the red hair straightened. It's so shiny and bouncy. Oh my gosh. I do love this color though. I think it's hot. It's smooth. It's straight. It's sleek. It's gorgeous. And I'm loving the look. I'm loving the vibe. I also really like it curly though. I don't know. I think for me, your curly hair is just top notch. And the straight hair is pretty, but like anybody can do that. You know, curly hair for me. Ten toes down on my ride with the gang. My whole life I've been doing my thing. Get that money and no thing. Anything I do, I do for the gang. Ten toes down on my ride with the gang. Ah! 
That was the most gorgeously satisfying thing ever. Again though, I liked her hair before almost better. Like I love how big it was. Imagine she just carved out the front to show her eyes more. That before look like, Oh, it's so good. Oh, a foam is so good for curly hair. <clears throat> wave tech wave foam. Um, whoa, you hear that? She just proves that it, like, it works miracles. Like that is insane. She put that foam on there and immediately those curls were just like <sighs> and clumped together and just made the most perfectly defined waves ever. Incredible. She <laughs> looks so good before and after and her hair just screams health. Like just healthy, healthy, healthy. I need her secrets to keeping her hair this gorgeous. Something tells me she never ever straightens her hair or curls it or anything or does a silk press. That look was beautiful. His curls went from curls to curls. That looks so good on him. I love this ginger color with his complexion and his skin tone. It looks beautiful. I love the way he used the products, like putting in the hydrating wave cream in the shower like that and then putting on the foam after. It's just such a good idea. I mean, the end result speaks for itself. Like he looks radiant and gorgeous. And I love that he used a pick to get those curls fluffed up. I love a pick. You will find a pick in every drawer, in every place I do hair because I love just teasing up those curls and making it fluffy. To me, the only type of sad curly hair is when it's flat and drooping down. I want it to be like, the bigger, the better. Those genetics are genetic-ing. Ah! I mean, I thought everybody in this video was gonna have curly hair, but she made it look like she had curly hair. She like did the reverse of everything we've been seeing and she went from straight to curls. And it actually looks really natural and real on her. And I like the curls better than I like her straight hair, to be honest with you. Her hair is as thick at the top as it is at the bottom, which you never see. Like it literally looks like she has tons and tons of extensions in her hair, but she definitely doesn't. And it makes no sense to me. And oh my God, I can I can only imagine how long that took her to curl her entire head like that. That must have been forever, but the end result was totally worth it and I hope she wore this somewhere. If she used curly hair products and the right technique, I bet she could make her hair quite wavy naturally without having to do too much, like not having to curl your entire head with a half an inch curling iron. Um, that's too much work, gotta be honest with you. But that was spectacular. Okay, that video, I don't even know. That had 770,000 likes. I don't understand why. I mean, it was definitely enjoyable and her hair is definitely extremely beautiful and healthy like every single other person we saw today. But like, what? That is some major bounce back on that curl though. Usually people have to like scrunch their hair to make it look like that. Hers, even if she brushes it straight, it's going right back into place like that. I need to see this dry. Is there a video of her dry hair? <laughs> Yeah, she has some ringlet corkscrew beautiful curls with extreme shine and another girl who has thick as f hair up here and down here. Literally like zero dead ends. Like what is the secret you guys? What am I doing wrong with my life? Genetics, man. Technique 10 out of 10, results 12 out of 10. How in the f 
did she get that much girl? She had me convinced she had straight hair, but honestly, anybody can have curly hair with some good hair products. <clears throat> Wave tech. You can really craft and shape hair into waves or curls with pretty much any hair type and the right technique. Everybody has some kind of wave pattern in their hair, unless you're like part of the 1% of people who literally have none, um, then I'm sorry, but you'll probably never have some waves with just some hair products and your hands. You probably have to use a curling iron. But she slayed that shit. She literally got the most beautiful curls ever at the end. That was so satisfying and unbelievable. Her hair looks so much thicker. I want her to flip her head upside down, shake it all out, and get it nice and frizzy and big because that is just how I like it. This is the hair I always thought I had, but then I saw a random curl in my hair. So now I'm thinking maybe I do have curly hair. I just got out of the shower. Now I'm just gonna scrunch it a little, kinda. I have this Trident Lotion, and I also have this smoothie. Maybe it just dries flat, I don't know. Let's put in this stuff. Yeah, this is super sticky. Who is she? Stop. Maybe I should put in a little mousse or so. Okay, I found this old mousse. Should I do more? I don't know. Yeah, that's too much. Babes. This is curly, right? Over here, you see that it's a bit more flat, a bit more straight. So let me know what I should do with that. Over here, look at all those curls. That is crazy. Apparently, I do have curly hair then. <laughs> Not totally satisfying, but like, is kind of satisfying that she went from straight hair to wavy hair. Next time, just skip all those creamy conditioning products. That's gonna weigh your hair down. A foam or a mousse is going to be best for people with that really light wave. If you're trying to enhance it because it's so lightweight it gives you that definition and that frizz protection and that hold without kind of like bringing your waves down but good try and i am very impressed with the fact that you tried this out for the first time and that's what your result was good for you and i hope more people try to make their hair curly from straight hair because i swear most of you have wavy hair you just don't know it Okay, this is enough today. I'm starting to feel really bad about myself. Like, how many of you in the world are there with just like the most perfect hair? <laughs> ever seen. How is your hair like 35 inches long and it's so perfectly curly? I mean, probably because you wash your hair like this. Like this looks complicated. And she's like only getting her, the root of her hair, which is a really good idea Um, with the shampoo. And then most likely just conditioning the bottom of her hair. Ah oh my God, I so badly want to do her hair. Like I want to touch it. I want to feel it. Like it looks just so perfect. Insane. That is so satisfying. Um, I am blown away. I am shook. <laughs> that was extremely, extremely satisfying. These people today had the most beautiful curly hair I've ever seen in my life, and I am severely jealous. That was just beautiful. If you guys want to check out any of my curly hair products, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodohair.com. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.